Not only are these Pikachu bears over $75, but there is no free shipping even with your order being over. I think I paid, I'm going to put it right here. Um. Friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Janie. If you're new here, I do videos on Build-A-Bear, Squishmallow, Squishables, and occasionally I throw in some lounge fly skincare and hair care because I don't know how to stick to a niche. A couple days ago, Build-A-Bear released two new Pikachu bears for their 25th anniversary vault collection, which is celebrating, as the name would suggest, 25 years of being in the business, and they want to release either limited edition things that have come out in the past couple years or new designs, whatever. In this case, we're in two different Pikachu one boy one girl they have like varsity jackets as well as a second outfit which is like PJs they have a six in one sound and according to the description they have sparkly yellow fur the problem is the pricing so I, I'm not surprised Build-A-Bear decided to upcharge this keep in mind there is already a pre-existing Pikachu bear that is currently still available on the website and it's actually on sale right now I knew they were probably gonna upcharge a little bit they've been doing that with certain bears from the vault collection initially they were like $25 some of them are 30, some of them are a little bit more. So in this case, each of the Pikachu bears that I just talked about are both $76 for this exclusive bundle, the varsity jackets, the PJs, the six in one sound. I think that's a lot of money. That is not that is a ridiculous amount of money um, because a lot of people already have this in their collection, but when you're talking about a vault collection, when you're talking about an anniversary collection, when you're talking about stuffed animals that have something slightly different than the original version, it's definitely going to tempt a lot of people, a lot of Build-A-Bear fans, a lot of Pokemon fans. And yeah, I do feel like this collection is extremely overpriced. Did I buy both of the bears? Yes, I did. They are on their way because I didn't already have a Pikachu in my collection. If I had, I would probably be even more upset looking at this another issue I had that I'm going to talk about once they arrive is the shipping so not only are these Pikachu bears over $75 but there is no free shipping even with your order being over I think I paid I'm gonna put it right here um so the shipping was like $20 for like standard shipping um so it was only like a $2 difference to bump it up to a slightly faster shipping which is what I ended up doing but I think that's ridiculous I think builder bears should be better about their shipping uh because a lot of times they do have promos like fresh shipping for five dollars or free shipping today only from what I could see have never really coincided with the release of a product it's like they know and don't get me wrong here I still love builder bear I am a big fan of builder bear I have a large builder bear collection and also I used to work at builder bear in 2018 so I love it but I don't think there's an issue with calling out certain practices that I feel like are just kind of scummy for the lack of a better word i think there should at least be free shipping if someone's getting both of these and yes eventually they're gonna hit stores but obviously i wanted to get them as quickly as possible pikachu one of these new pikachus has a winky face and one of them like the girl one has like a heart-shaped tail which i had no idea that was a thing um but for the most part it does look similar to the original one so here's a picture of the new ones here's a picture of the original pikachu one that's been out for a couple years now i will say judging solely from the picture the new ones look a little bit cuter they look a little bit more compact i looked at the height specs and they are slightly different but there's a lot of staging that goes on with builder bear when it comes to their promo picks so i'm not sure if it's just a matter of the angle or what but i do feel personally that the new ones look a little bit cuter than the original the original currently has a bundle um and it's on sale at the time that i'm filming this video it's for 56 dollars originally 63 dollars so it's the original pikachu with a second outfit a hoodie and a five-in-one sound bit or whatever six and one actually otherwise you can buy those hoodies separately which would be like ten dollars and fifty cents each and the original pikachu bear is also on sale right now for 36 dollars so yeah i feel bad i think it's it's annoying i think build a bear this past year has just really shown a level of disregard for their fans and of course you're not gonna be able to please everybody but I do think $76 each is a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot um, for sparkly fur. I will admit the varsity. It's not they knew what they were doing because those outfits are really cute. I think those are probably the cutest um, Pokemon outfits I've seen so far. Because they always come with like a little one onesie. Like a pajama onesie or a cape or something. But I do think like those varsity jackets really pop really nicely. So when the order arrives, I'm definitely going to do an unboxing. All that good stuff. We're really going to compare and contrast. Except that I don't have the original bear. I have seen it before. I've just always passed because 
Pikachu's just always around, you know. I'd rather get like the Eevees or all the other ones that I've picked up in the past couple of years. I do have a Build-A-Bear playlist. That being said, I would love to hear your thoughts. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the Vault Collection in general? I only have a couple so far. I didn't end up picking up the Darth Vader one. I didn't end up picking up that groundhog looking bear, like the really chunky bear. That was the first one I think that was a little bit more expensive than the ones that had come before it. I did end up getting a $100, not $100, well, I did end up getting a $10 reward after I made this purchase because if you're a part of their mailing or their little fan club, whatever it's called, you do get a coupon for every $100 that you spend. So this did definitely put me over the edge. Um, the only thing is that I only have until October to redeem it. Like I said before, I mentioned this in the past, I really feel it should give you more time to redeem something that you've spent your hard-earned money on. You know, that shouldn't really have an expiration date. And if it is going to have an expiration date, I feel like it should be a full year. A full year of getting to use the rewards that you earned with the money that you spent on their website or in person, actually. So I have that. It's the Build-A-Bear Bonus Club reward. I've had the same account since I was really young. But now that I'm here, I know I already put the price up but let me just read it to you again i spent 192 dollars on build a bear that is disgusting <laughs> i am embarrassed for myself and all i did was the two bundles i didn't add anything else obviously so it was 152 dollars shipping was 24 dollars the normal shipping was like 22 dollars and then the express shipping that i chose was 24 so it was only a couple dollars more at that point but i still think it should have been free shipping for standard just take take as long as you want but you should be giving free shipping if an order is that that much for two bears. Taxes were $15.71 and that's what brought me up to the $192 with 66 cents price tag. Yeah, I don't see myself ever doing this again, honestly. I say that, but you never know what Bill is going to come out with, especially if any more Eevees come out. I know Sylviana is set to come out later this year. I know there's been some rumors and stuff there's this really cool youtuber it's a very small channel but he talks about build bear spoilers all the time so i'm gonna link him in the description box if you want to see his content because that's generally what i look at when i'm like mm, what should i buy what's going on i know there's a grookey not grookey well groot groot i know there's a groot uh build a bear stuffy coming out for guardians of the galaxy because they were in love and thunder with thor am i gonna skip on that to be honest i love Groot, but that's not i think he's come out before right i'm pretty sure i've seen him when i used to work there but yeah if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really 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 appreciate it it means so much to me i've been kind of in a rut lately with this channel i don't know what i'm doing with my stuffed animals am i gonna continue is this sustainable not only for the environment but for my wallet um so we're we're gonna go with the flow here um as of now but if i do decide to shift gears a little i will let you know i'm thinking of including funko pops into this channel because something i never really talk about is i have a huge collection my husband and i actually have a huge funko pop collection and i'm thinking maybe we can do some of that content like from a low-key point of view not a gotta have them all type of thing because that's definitely not me especially with funko pops because they have gone increasingly more expensive i remember my first one was like eight bucks at Barnes and Noble when I was fresh out of high school um, and Funko Pops have gained so much popularity within the last 10 years so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in and once again thank you so much and I will see you very soon with another video take care there and until next time bye